Hey everyone, Spicy Toast Gaming here. I hope you're having a great day, and I hope this video can make it a little bit better. Today we're going to be trying out Yasuo versus Lissandra. A lot of the control decks are very good into Lissandra, so hopefully we can do a decent job today. First, let's go over the star power. So up first, round start, stun the strongest enemy. Really nice and simple, gives us a nice amount of control. Then plus one starting mana when an ally strikes, grant it one power. So some amount of scaling. For the relic build we're going with, Tempest Blade and Crown Guard Inheritance when I level up stun all enemies. Crown Guard Inheritance when I level up Rally. The Grand General's Counter Plan, Round Start, create a fleeting copy of me in hand. So these two together really let us put a lot of pressure and potentially just annihilate the entire enemy board. Really good combo. Also can let us put a lot of damage that can normally end the game. Probably won't be able to end these games because the enemy has so much health. Now the Grand General's Counter Plan, this is one that is a little bit more of a flex pick. I think maybe putting the beast within here would be better, but this can be pretty nice because while Yasuo is on the board, it's going to create a copy of him, which is going to turn into his champion spell. So you see that right here, stun a attacking enemy, create a Yasuo in your deck. So this is going to be really nice to control the enemy board, keep them from attacking. Now this is only useful when the enemy is actually attacking. So there's going to be some times where this could potentially go to waste. That being said though, it's also a safety net for our Yasuo. So if they kill our Yasuo, we can then play that fleeting copy of him and still keep him on the board because he is kind of our main win condition. Again, I'm not actually really sold on this build. While this is normally a great build for Yasuo, it is trying to end the game fairly quickly and that might not work in some of these longer matches, but this is the one we will test out today. Now, if you appreciate all this daily Path of Champions content, definitely like and subscribe. Also, if you want even more Path of Champions content, Check the description down below. There's a link to some other channels you might find interesting. All right, let's get into it. Support champion, let's see what we can get. Misfortune, Nocturne, or Diana. So that capture would be nice. Crackshot Corsair would also be decent. Don't like that there's a lot of extra or increased cost there. Diana with mana deposit is pretty decent. Don't like the Lunari. Yeah, I don't like the units that are coming with Diana, but Diana is pretty solid. I think let's do a reroll. None of these are really very good for us. All right, Aphelios, Garen, Concerted Strike, pretty expensive. A couple free attacks, which we don't really have that much synergy for. Zillion with double attack, but he doesn't have Overwhelm or anything like that. Now, Aphelios, I believe he does have some stuns in here. He does. And normally there's something decent you can get from him. So I think we'll go for this, mostly because these are all cheap cards and are pretty general. Whereas a lot of the other ones seem like they're just gonna be too expensive. Uh, so yeah, not great, but should help us slightly. All right, sharing is caring. Raiding party, survey core. So getting a green glade lookout is pretty nice. Sharing is carrying can be solid. I think we will go around this one. It's not going to necessarily be that good for us, at least not initially, but we can try to build around it, maybe get a whole board like double attack. We do have some overwhelm and elusive in our deck, so we can try to do that for our board as well. Uh, so something we can try to build around. All right, let's see. One cost crumble, that's... We're going to pick that up because there's a lot of annoying landmarks, so... It sucks we'll have to kill one of our own units, but... Destroying a landmark is really good. So this is double attack. Yeah, we'll get this just because we can play this and then give double attack to our entire board, which could be quite helpful. Discard one to invoke a celestial that costs three or less. Those celestials that they're invoking, there is one that's high likelihood to be the three cost stun two enemies so i think we can grab this one grant an ally elusive that's not bad but we have other elusives that we can try to give our entire board with like the blade scout and the shadow assassin so this loses value there sparring student could be okay I think we'll get the Sparring Student just in case we get the power that gives us a Spartan Student at the start of the game, because 
that would actually be fairly handy. It's not necessarily great for us. I think we'll just get one copy. We don't actually want to have that many. Well, we can we can get two. All right, let's see. So we have it that stares up there. Not great. Draculon Inquisitor in the middle. She who wanders. Do we care about the ethereal remitter right here? We don't really want the permanent spell shield because that's going to stop a lot of our stuns, which wouldn't really be good. All cards costing two less could be helpful for us. It's okay. I don't think it's that necessary. I think we'd probably go for the middle instead. So Omen Hawk, I'm Inevitable, and Vision of Strength. This one can be pretty tough. All right, Blade Twirler, Gifts from Beyond. I think we'll actually hold on to these. We definitely want the Spacey Sketcher to try to kill any of their units. It's nice that we start with the attack token, though, so that's not too bad. Uh, we can just play the Blade Twirler for now, get it on the board to start scaling up. So that one will get stunned. Underestimate. I dare you. These old eyes still see far and clear. Alright, we can play the spacey sketcher to kill their big unit. Press and strike, wonderful, more stuns. We see through all. Alright, we can give Elusive and Barrier. Uh, let's kill these two. We're taking a little bit of damage, but so far going pretty well. Here's our chance. Could play a Felios. Yeah, we can just go for more elusives. Still don't have our champion, which is unfortunate. Can't afford to miss. With this adventure, you normally need to play it pretty slow and carefully. So we're just having stuns ready for whatever the enemy does. What will you have? Alright, so we'll stun these here. Underestimate. I dare you. Alright, wouldn't mind playing Arfelios, but have another person we need to stun, but we can play our sparring student Just first. Like we practice. Oh, you're in for it. Don't really care about the extra mana, to be honest. Underestimate. I dare you. Alright, I think again, let's just attack with our elusives. Oh, right, they have an elusive blocker. Master. Forgot about that. Uh, we can get rid of one of the crumbles. Uh, Crest of Striker again, not bad. So this is slow, which isn't great. So let's start off with... Well, this unit's going to get stunned anyways next round. I think we could also use a crumble to kill that unit there. I'm trying to be fairly careful and not let them have too many of those giant units on the board. Here's our chance. We really just need to survive to let our blade twirler end the game.
Crescendo. Uh, we can go ahead and stun this one. Don't really want to let them have more draw. Underestimate. I dare you. Alright, so as long as they don't have something to mess with our blade twirler, Pick on someone your own speed. this will be a game. GG. Alright, so I got rid of the chat at the side. Sorry for forgetting about that. I was streaming just a little bit before this. Uh, Kennen don't really want another champion. He does have some recall and damage synergy, but at the start of the game, we want to be drawing our Yasuo if possible. Uh, I like our Spacey Sketcher with some extra draw. That's not too bad. Uh, let's see. Veiled Temple each round the first time you play two of the cards. We feel two mana. I don't really want that taking up board space, and I'm liking the Sketcher. So we get our Crumble to be literally free. That's kind of funny. Uh, Wind Chaser doing a free attack. I feel like that normally is just going to get him killed. And we're trying to be a little bit more defensive. Drawing this at the start of the game is not bad. We normally don't have enough units to really make the crumble free. And with the elusive, then we could give that to our whole board. So I think we'll go here. All right, so when the player summons unit frostbite it, the player's units have vulnerable and the foe's units have plus two. That's rough, but let's try to go CC against CC and see how we do. All right, Blade Twirler, nice. Yeah, this all looks pretty good. All right, I think we'll just pass. Still another match without drawing our Yasuo at the start of the game. But we have both copies of our Felios. Well, that is a pretty rough combo. We'll try to play the Spacey Sketcher, but... Yeah, it's just gonna... Just gonna die. Alright, Crescent Strike, not bad. At least it was able to get its strike off before it died. Alright, once again, just gonna silence their units. Draw another card. Moonglow, Trickster, Serpent. I think we'll go for Serpent. Right now we just need to have units on the board. Finally have our Yasuo, though. I am worried about them immediately killing our Yasuo. Although, when we play him, he is going to rally. Hmm. Not sure exactly how I feel about that. Let's try to use this here. I want to give them the opportunity to play something else. Pillage and burn. There we go. They've blown most of their mana. Maybe I do have a future. So we're gonna slightly burn our attack token. I go where the road takes me. Yep. Really hard to avoid that when it just costs one mana. And we can't actually really attack because we are frostbitten. Even I have good. I wasn't strong enough. Oh, we're so easy to kill right now. Also, the frostbite does kind of counter our Yasuo because then he can't strike anymore. Because if he strikes, it's gonna strike with his current power, which is nothing. Uh, let's drop this, just give us barrier for a little bit of protection. And let's use the Steel Tempest just to reduce down the damage we're taking and get some draw in. 
and keep our barrier up and ready. So I want well, Gravitum's not bad, Lifesteal's not bad. Yeah, we'll go for the Gravitum. I do alright. Alright, we can go ahead and kill that as well. This match is going to take forever just because we're constantly going to be keeping each other from being able to do anything. Alright, we can play the Shadow Assassin here. Give everyone elusive. Play the Mountain Goat, give everyone double attack. So it won't help that much this round, but... Will be decent in the future. No cure. We do have excellent removal while our Yasuo is not frostbitten. <laughs> Uh, we might want to save that obliterate for something else. Uh, we can just recall it. If the journey doesn't get you the rope, break the strong, slaughter the weak. Uh, I think we'll just pass. Yeah, we want them to attack. The good thing is, it doesn't really matter that our units have vulnerable, because we're just going to keep them from attacking. Alright, they might crossbite us, but we can potentially just end right here. Yep, GG. Well, that one is way too expensive. Another elusive. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go here. Alright, Scar Mother, double their stats. Those units have 2-1. When they survive damage, double its power. That'll be pretty tough. Alright, pretty good. All very cheap cards. Yeah, I think I'll just play this even without the strike. Uh, we can get rid of will i think serpent messenger i think we'll go for the messenger to get some extra draw here's where I'd paint my constellations. I, i've got this Shh, quietly something for the rest so the barrier potentially could have helped us next round but I want to try to attack without getting blocked So we'll play this again, getting that barrier, and we'll use a Steel Tempest to block their Overwhelm unit. Can I paint you? All right, we'll drop our Yasuo. Hopefully they don't have anything to immediately kill him. Young fight for glory. I fought for legacy. That is a very large unit. But we'll just attack with our elusives. I do all right. Fire knows it so. Hmm, that tough isn't. Great. 
All right, let's see. Let's maybe stun this one. Although, how would it work if we... Okay, we'll stun this one here. This is going to level up our Yasuo, let him rally and strike all of their units, which will kill most of them. Even I have good... No one is promised tomorrow. No cure. I do all right. Be really nice if we had our one unit that gave us double attack right now. Let the flames take you. Uh, we could play this for the elusive. I think let's actually just go a crumble to kill that unit. Alright, they're pretty much out of mana. So sure, we can just try to push a little bit of extra damage. I face my fate, your turn. Almost able to end the game. Even I have good So this is it. Alright, we'll just open I attack with our elusive board. GG. Alright, so far so good. Recall a unit with three or less health. That's not going to happen very often. I do like that Pale Cascade. So three cost, Nightfall, stun an enemy. If it's a follower, stun it again at next round start. That is a good effect. I think I'll just go for the Pale Cascade. Hextech Fabricator rank three and an extra draw. I think this will be better, but yeah, both these are really good. All right, power. Let's see where we can get. Hold it. I won't complain. Stunning two units or the same unit twice. Uh, yeah, not bad. Enfeebling would also be decent, but yeah, the extra uh, CC will be great. All right. Draclorn Inquisitor. All things grow cold. Uh, this looks solid. I think let's get rid of these two for now. Would like to have some more CC in our opening hand if possible. We could play the Blade Twirler. I think we'll play the Sparring Student just so that we can potentially play Yasuo next round. That is tough. I think we'll probably just have to eat that hit regardless of who we play. So we'll just drop our Yasuo. Alright, so we could attack before they play anything. Although... We could also drop this Blade Twirler. And then drop a Elusive. Ah, oh, that's sad. Won't be too bad though. We're gonna level up and rally next round. My kind of list. No one is promised tomorrow. No cure. I do all right. My kind of list. That's a lot of stuns and a lot of enemy deaths. Well, that's not great. We could recall our own unit, but the stats would get lost regardless. So we'll just have to take that hit. Left foot, left foot. Quick footwork, fast strikes. Ah, oh, I don't do that. <laughs> We were going to give him double attack. Oh, that sucks. Uh, we'll play this and get rid of the 
Levian card, since we're not really going to get it anyways. Spell shield, that'll be nice. Yeah, let's give that spell shield to our Yasuo. So, could have either ended or gotten close if Yasuo was able to get that double attack. But our next attack should be good. No cure. Hey, look, it's our next attack. Life and death on the blade's edge. I do all right. GG. Concussive Palm, that would be good. Spacey Sketcher. Be nice. It is just one mana, though. I think we'll go for the Concussive Palm. So we play this and we get two units out of it. So we can stop the enemy from attacking and get two blockers. I think that'll be pretty good. All right, Mind Meld or Item Chest. Rot Colossus or Poros Lead. There's some cards I would want to cut, but not that many. Yeah, I don't think we need to go for the Mind Meld, so we'll go for the Item Chest down here. Support. I think we'll go for the Heal. Just giving us some more sustain. Like, we could give everyone Augment, but we're in this for the long run. Having extra sus sustain throughout matches will be quite nice. Oh, look, Champion Item Chest. Wonderful. So, Rock Colossus with Secrets Hidden by Frost. All right, let's get rid of these two. We're holding on to Aphelios just to increase our odds of drawing our Yasuo. Kind of annoyed that we get him in our opening hand like every time and not Yasuo. All right, so here again, we'll play this Barn Student so we can try to play Yasuo next turn. So we'll just pass. That's a lot of damage. Good thing it's going to get stunned. Go where the road takes me. Are you the one with wind technique? Right, not bad. Better get the forge going. I do all right. No cure, fools. All right, so here we have the double attack. I think let's give everyone elusive. And then we'll give everyone double attack. So we'll just attack with these three, getting about half of their half their health gone. And all those strikes increase in our power, which is very nice for Yasuo. Because he is about to level up and rally. Oh, right. He gets... Oh, that's not good. At least he has one power from leveling up, so he can still try to get some strikes off. I do all right. But instead of killing their entire board, he just kind of tickled them. Still got two kills. Well, that's not great. All right, let's go here, discard this. Eh, silence doesn't matter as much. Let's just go for extra damage right now. This would be impact, so that'd be pretty good. Uh, this will be more damage right now. Alright, PG. Uh, we'll go for the Paddle Star, deal 5 to a unit that attacked this round or is stunned, so that'll be some nice removal. I mean, it is fairly expensive. Could go for gift. This one's just too expensive. I think. Yeah, we'll hold on to Paddle Star though. I 
mean, we really don't want Yasuo to die. I think we'll just go for Barrier to give him some survivability, and that Barrier can then hit the entire board when we drop him. Spell Shield would be better, but I don't really want to use my rerolls right here. Alright, Shop. Last Breath Rally. This is one we're fine with dying. Recall a unit with less power than me. It's not going to be that helpful against Lissandra and um, Trundle. Summon a Preservium. That would flood our board too much. Regen would hit our entire board. So we'll grab this. Because we can also grab this. So we'll have... An ephemeral copy that'll die because of the rally. and Or give us a rally, that is. So that'll be very nice. I think let's do one reroll, see if we can get... That's good. We'll probably grab that. Hush is very strong. Oh, man, there's so many good things here. I think we'll go for the one cost recall because that's just crazy. But all three of these are really good. If we didn't have so much CC, then this would probably be better. But we have other ways to deal with units. Yeah, we'll get that one cost Will of Ionia. Man, that is all really good. All right, Trundle, Fey Guide, Healer, Rekindler. All right, Trundle with Secrets Hidden by Frost. Uh, let's get rid of both of these so we know we're going to draw them. And we can get rid of the Paddle Star. And even the Crumble. Yeah, let's just mulligan our entire hand. Of course, we have Aphelios. Always. Uh, I think we'll just open with a blade twirler so it can start scaling up from all the stuns. We'll just skip the block. We have some built-in sustains. We should be able to get that back up before too long. All right, let's drop this. The trolls are going to war! Then we'll give everything elusive and barrier. We can get one attack in, rally, and then attack again. And all these strikes are increasing our unit's damage. So the next strike will be even, well, kind of harder, except we're missing a unit. All right, that's a lot of damage. Pretty good. Now we've got the upper hand. Alright, that's fine. We will just stun both of these. Healing up our Nexus, scaling up our Blade Twirler. Hopefully drawing our Yasuo. I dare you. Now we'll well, guess hand. not. Alright, we'll just try to open attack and that'll be game if they don't have anything to stop us. Try to keep up. We could play Mountain Goat, but I'm worried about what slow spells they have. GG. Recall all other allies. Yeah, I don't want that. Um, this one's okay. I'm gonna try a reroll though, just because we can maybe see if we can get something a little bit better. Recall an ally, summon a femoral copy of it. Eh. One cost elusive, not bad. Giving this barrier would mean we could always give it impact. Yeah, we already have a ton of elusive, so I think we'll go here. Is there a card we really want to cut? I mean, there's some we could do without, but none that's crazy. Let's go for the Fey Guide, see if we can get something good. There we go. All right, Lissandra with secrets hidden by Frost. All right, we can give her the Shadow Assassin. We normally don't want to kill our own units, but just in case. Honestly, we might just need to use this to kill their Lissandra. Because letting her stay on the board is not the best.
I will play this. Get rid of Aphelios. Really don't care about him at all. Silence and the follower is not bad, but I think we'll go for an extra unit. Of course we drew. Alright, let's kill this to kill her. Don't want her to level up. Could really use our champion, but the game has really been hating us with drawing our Yasuo. Alright, so they have enough mana to just summon her again. So we'll hold off. Alright, now we will... Like, the bad thing is we calling her lets them play her again and summon a Frozen Thrall. But... We just can't let her level up. We have to keep her off the board. Alright, let's stun that. Of course, we still don't get our Yasuo. Let's play this, see what we can get. And here's where I'd paint my constellation. Oh, oh, oh. A dark cloud looms on the horizon. I will remind the world of true power. Sakaar. Yeah, that's not great because now she's going to be able to make one of these every round, which is just going to be able to annihilate our board. Wanted to play the Mountain Goat, but I guess it might not really be worthwhile. More draw, come on, Yasuo. Alright, we'll just pass. There's no point in attacking. Alright, we'll go for Wind Chaser just to try to hold them off for as long as we can. I'll do what must be done. But the whole deck really revolves around playing Yasuo and letting him letting him do a lot of the damage for you. We'll just skip the block so they don't play their Ice Shard immediately, I think. Yeah, we'll just have to take the damage. We'll pass. They're probably going to play this. Oh, no. they decided not to. Nice. I want to play our Mountain Goat, but I know they're just going to immediately kill it, which will kind of ruin the point. Thank you, friends. Cute. Alright, we'll drop this here. Look, we finally have Yasuo. Nice. I want to play our Mountain Goat so bad. Guess it wouldn't be bad to wait until we have Yasuo on the board anyways. Pick on someone your own speed. We can try to play this. They might kill it. Yep, there it is. We 
good thing is Yas was gonna stun their whole board as soon as we play him. bit annoying, but not the end of the world. Granted, they'll probably just no get out immediately and tear him. At least he's gonna stun their whole board. Answer for what you have done has nothing more. So both of these really good rallies, but not that much of a point when <laughs> our units have no attack. We'll play this just because we have the mana. Goodness, that's... Wow, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, I really want to kill their Lissandra, but I don't think we're going to have any real opportunity. I feel like we're taking more damage to our Nexus from those ice shards than anything else in the entire run. <laughs> So it's kind of wasted, but at least it will kill their one unit. I don't really want to discard anything, though. I think we'll just pass. This is gonna be fun. Do not embarrass me, troll. So we could recall that that is eight mana. Although we might just want to immediately recall the Watcher. Yeah, I think I'm just going to pass. So we easily can block both of those. Alright, let's immediately stun that. And since that's the biggest unit, it's just going to be stunned for the rest of the match. Alright, that's fine. Technically, they have less cards than us, so we could maybe just get rid of them. Although Ice Shard is just going to keep nuking our Nexus down. So stunning both of these, getting some health back. Alright, we have our Yasuo. Don't have enough mana to play him. So they have limited resources, but they do have their stupid Ice Shard. Of course, that's the one card they drew. Uh, let's 
recall Lissandra. This will kill her because he can at least get the strike off before. Uh, so at least we'll get rid of Lissandra so she can't make her ice shards every round anymore. The journey doesn't get you the rope. So at least we have her gone. And at least these aren't dead. They're just entombed, which, while that's not great, it could be worse. Uh, silence a follower. Sure, we can silence the watcher. All right, it shouldn't ever get free, but it is nice to get rid of all of its extra scary stuff. One issue is we're missing some of our tools to let us survive, so that's not good. All things grow cold. All right, we'll just pass. So we'll recall both of these. They won't have the mana to play it, but they will be able to have their Lissandra, which isn't great. But if we were to call Lissandra, she'll just immediately be played again. We're just trying to survive. And we're trying to save the goats to give our units double attack to nuke down their nexus. Me. All right, so we will attack like this, doing a lot of damage, be able to rally, attack again. They do have their Ice Shard that will be able to kill half of our board, which isn't great. But yeah, let's go like this. Well, at least Lissandra's dying. Also, we can attack a bunch more times if we want. They are out of mana. So we'll attack like this. This one will die. We don't want to attack with this one and have them block it and kill it again. So yeah, let's go like this. this one up a little bit. All right, it'll probably block one of our other mountain goats, but it's fine. Look at that. GG. All right, Lissandra was annoying as always. Not the most enjoyable boss fight. But we were able to come away with the win. I think we've won on every single CC champion that we've done or control, crowd control champion. So Yasuo, really good. We did Annie earlier today. That's up on the uh, VODs channel if you want to check that out, link down below. But that went really well as well. Uh, we did Morgana, although we didn't record that one. Also was able to win. So yeah, all the CC decks. So far, working out really well. I'm uh, going to be doing Ash tomorrow on stream, so there'll be a link to that down below if you want to check that out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, though. If you did, definitely like and subscribe, and I hope you all have a great day.